How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Edgo C39. I'm going to be talking about what's going on recently with Borderlands, I guess. I have not watched the movie, and I've been recommended by so many people in the Borderlands community watch a couple spoiled free reviews or something because I don't feel like... I, I might just like watch it, like maybe just like rent it to see what's the whole mumbo-jumbo is all about because i heard so many terrible things that is happening to the film and now it's like you know it's not really based off the actual source of material which is kind of like bro like you're literally missing the point like you can't make a movie off of an inspiration and not really you know condemn to the actual source of the material you know that's not really good movie directing even though you know i don't even know shit about it i just know like good movies should be based or maybe replicated in its own way like a last of us or like a fallout you know tv series i heard positive things about that but now they're trying to cover it up with like borderlands 4 like we're getting a fourth one um i don't know how i feel about it because i did see a trailer like a day or two ago and i was like i was thinking to myself like really like we're getting another like i'm personally i'm all for borderlands i love the series it's one of my favorite games when um growing up and everything but it's just like i think four games in the telltale series is already like i guess enough for me because i don't think you can't do you can't outdo what the third one already you know established you know but the narrative is not really like on the bright side of things i kind of don't understand the direction that they went with borderlands 3 narratively with you know the whole plot of that whole game but gameplay wise is really good the skill trees are really good the customizations is really good and everything it was just like maybe just lack of lack of updates lack of support the dlcs were good or the dlcs are good but there are some characters that definitely need some type of closure and everything um you know it's really extensive so i feel like you know after this fourth one um we don't know what it what's the fourth one going to be about maybe it should just i don't know if it's going to actually tie in what the pre-sequel was actually going to because if you guys remember how the borderlands pre-sequel ended it was the guardian that was um that stopped the bullets of uh what's her face athena getting shot at and they were like there's no time to fight ball hunters there's wars coming you know we were like we all thought that the war was going to be the plot for borderlands 3 you know but it was just um settled off with the uh, great first ball hunter and his twin kids that we but basically murk both of them but i'm just like i'm not too sure if that's what the fourth one is going to be narratively wise and how it's going to you know continue off off the third one or if it's going to be maybe you know maybe too far into the future you know past these events and we're in like in a new age you know like a new plot like a new villain in borderlands if uh, or something like that um it could it could be good if it's that you know there's two different ways that they can handle this fourth one if that is one continue with like the original um plot from the pre-sequel of like the great war that we don't know what's coming or it could either just be a further distant into the future past borderlands 3 and maybe like a new threat to come in a new age of ball hunters like you know but we don't absolutely know for sure of what's going to be this plot. It's going to be coming out in 2025. And I'm like thinking to myself like, wow, like 2025? Like that's not that far off. We're like really almost there to finishing off 2024. So, and I don't know if they're going to do like more promotional stuff. I'm probably going to be talking about it some more whenever they do bring out more trailers, more like story details. It's just mostly for like for me, I need to know what this, you know, the plot is going to be about because I feel like to have a good plot, like a good game is to also have a good plot narratively of the story. Like, you know, at least for me, because I enjoy the fuck out of the game. I really do, but I feel like it has to, the story needs to make sense, and, you know, gameplay, just keep, just, uh, for me, just keep how it is, you know, maybe just expand it some more, but, you know, it's been about, what is it, five, six years now that we're about to get a new one, so, you know, I guess the gap, like, between, 
that is like all right i guess because i'm not i'm not gonna complain that like hey it's been almost you know six years now and we're gonna finally gonna get you know another borderlands game you know that's fine that's dandy i'm i'm not too like i'm not too like oh my god like when are we gonna get another one you know i'm just pretty satisfied with the fourth one and then you know with the gap between two and three being almost you know seven years seven years now it's like mm, i don't know what more that they can do you know i'm i'm ready for gearbox to surprise me but i feel like in my opinion after this fourth one i feel like they either have to finish up this universe or or it's like for me i feel like borderlands should come to an end or there should be a reboot you know that's where i'm kind of at with this game because by far borderlands 2 has my heart borderlands 3 is like kind of like top three because i love the pre-sequel even though it wasn't that much new content if that made sense i still enjoy it but borderlands 2 would be the definitive edition of like what the standard should be and you know three did innovate in some way shape or form and i do really appreciate that but borderlands 2 always has my heart on that with that story and the narrative and the characters and like with three didn't really keep up that same momentum with what was established in two but yeah um i don't know what's going to be happening because you know it's kind of like a pr nightmare to deal with how bad the movie is and now getting everybody's attention away from that movie i'm like hey guys we're getting a new borderlands game so it's like you know cool good stuff hopefully it's going to be you know really good this time coming around and yeah hopefully i can enjoy it some more so let me know what you guys think about borderlands 4 that's coming next year if not that's okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is sonico 239 and i hope you all have a wonderful morning night day evening whatever the occasion is take care stay safe all that good jazz but anyways guys later